Just yesterday, Honda revealed that they will build EVs in the U.S. market in their all-new EV hub in Ohio. They're investing $700 million to retool three of their plants in Ohio to produce EVs. And together with their partner LG Energy Solution, they will invest $3.5 billion to invest a new battery EV plant in Fayette County, Ohio. That plant alone will create 2,200 new jobs to make batteries that will be exclusively built for EVs in our Honda auto plants, and those include accurate vehicles as well. And so while we get ready to ramp up for the ZDX in 2024 and the Prologue in 2024, Honda is working with Sony, and now we have concrete details on when their first PlayStation car, whatever you want to call it, is going to be available. So let's get into it. <laughs> Switching gears over to automotive news, Honda Sony to build new EV in North America first. I was not expecting this. I was expecting this vehicle to come out of Japan, but they're saying that North America is leading the way with EVs and it's more important here in America than it is over in Japan. So that's why they're picking here. And of course, with the massive investment that they announced yesterday, might as well use it to build this Honda and Sony, the Shondi, uh, Sandi. So it'll launch in North America in the spring of 2026. If you guys are excited for this Sony Honda car, make sure to smash that like button. Now, if you're in Japan, you'll be able to get it exported from North America to Japan, kind of like the NSX, but the, you know, the NSX rest in peace at this point, right? Executives describe the upcoming EV as a high value added model that will build in lots of new technology from Sony, including entertainment systems, advanced software, and sensors. If you think this is going to be an affordable, like I, I would say this vehicle is probably gonna start in the upper 40s. That's just my guess, but let's keep reading. Retailing will be centered around online sales. That's something that Honda vehicles will not be. They will, they will be going to the dealership. They're saying the EV regulations in California, New York, et cetera, are one of the big factors on why this vehicle is gonna be built here in North America originally. CEO Yasuhide Mizuno is saying the reason they chose North America is because it is more advanced and he thinks North America is a market with a lot of purchasing power. And that is true. The dollar continues to get stronger compared to other currencies around the world, even though inflation is still pretty crazy at this point in time. Delivery in Honda Motor Co.'s home market in Japan will begin in the second half of 2026. Like I said, we'll begin here in the spring of 2026. And Sony Honda Mobility will start taking orders for the new car in the first half of 2025. So a year before it goes on sale, you can put in a pre-order. Now it'll probably look something like these Vision S concepts. One's more of a crossover. One is a sedan. They're gorgeous looking vehicles. And I can't believe this is actually coming to fruition. This is something pulled out of an alternate universe where Sony is making cars with Honda. Pretty crazy. Mizuno said they like to form this company as a whole new automaker completely different from anything else. Hard to say it's completely different because it'll be made by Honda. So you know there's going to be a lot of Honda DNA in here. Uh, but he says our goal is not to become an ordinary car manufacturer, but to become a new mobility tech company centered on software technology. I mean, if their car comes out with some of the best technology out there, I could see them licensing it to other manufacturers, especially to other Honda cars. Their, their goal is not mass production here, not like Tesla or Rivian, for example. They're, this is going to be more of a boutique, specialty made, low volume sort of EV. They're saying at CES in Vegas this year, January 4th, we should see this vehicle, a more production ready version. It's still going to be what? four years, three years out, 2023 to 2026. It'll be three years out when they show it this year, but that's where Sony's been showing all their EV concepts. Mizuno says a high value added product is what we're looking at. It's not like we're looking at mass production. He equated high value to offering a top tier vehicle such as the Honda Legend Premium Sedan, which has a level three autonomous driving system in Japan. Well, we knew the legend in modern times we knew the legend as the rlx and going over to car figures i want to get an idea of the sales of the rlx when it was still on sale it was canceled around 2020 uh and i had a video on it if you guys want to check that out yearly sales for rlx about 5,000 a year in 2013 so i think that's probably a good starting point for this Sony Honda EV 5,000. I think the demand might be higher than 5,000 per year. What do you guys think? Now, that vehicle might sell in higher volumes, 
well, used to because it's also canceled as a legend in Japan, but it might sell in higher volumes in Japan. So if it's 5,000 in the United States, maybe 5,000 in Japan, maybe 10,000 a year total for global worldwide usage. Honda will be responsible for manufacturing and procurement, he said, but Mizuno would not say what assembly plant would make the vehicle or who would supply the battery. We know LG will supply the battery. They just had that big announcement yesterday. So that, I mean, it's going to be essentially a pouch style lithium ion battery pack. Uh, that is not going to be, it's not going to have solid state batteries or anything like that. For example, it's hard to say where they would build this. Um, it could be hand built in the performance manufacturing center in Columbus, Ohio. You gotta remember the NSX is out of there, but eventually they'll have to start making a new NSX with battery electric technology. Uh, probably won't do it until solid state batteries are ready. So maybe in the meantime, they build that vehicle there. Let me know what you guys think, because if I pull up the plants here, you can see the Marysville, Ohio plant, the East Liberty. Ohio plant. Uh, those are probably the two front runners. Anna, Ohio is also being retooled for EVs. So it's going to be either East Liberty or Marysville and potentially uh, the performance manufacturing center. But I just don't think they can produce that, that high of a volume, to be honest, because the NSX, right, didn't hardly sell anything, any substantial volume, not thousands of units per year, that's for sure. Just get you up to speed on their other EV investments besides the three and a half billion they're spending with lg to create that battery plant in ohio we have a 37 billion dollar investment over the next 10 years for electrification they'll have 30 evs globally by 2030 and they'll have 2 million ev annually by 2030 as well they're hoping to drop their cash cow well honda is best at making engines they're hoping to stop engine production by 2040 i would assume that i don't know is that globally is that going to be just for the main markets like china europe and north america it's hard to imagine but you also have to keep in mind that in other parts of the world they have motorbikes as a main transportation from honda so it's going to be hard it's hard to imagine a a future without honda engines powering a lot of vehicles but they're ambitious, that's for sure. It's safe to say that this Sony car will be on their new e-architecture, uh, which will be, be debuting in 2026, which of course coincides with this Sony vehicle. So I think it's safe to say that. And Honda expects to supply 800 EVs to North America by 2030. So out of their 2 million, almost half of that 800,000 will be allocated to the North American market. So what is Sony contributing to this? Well, quite a bit. Sony will be responsible for much of the car's cloud-based systems, electronics, software and infotainment as well as sensors that help driver or help deliver higher levels of automated driving so sony has a big library of movies music photos and a wealth of content that can be served on the go i mean playstation comes to mind um that would definitely more be for the passengers in the back but that would be pretty cool to essentially have a playstation built into your car they're also saying automated driving will make automobiles a more viable venue for selling such services as people increasingly hand over driving duty to the car's computer what will be important is the software as a domain kawanishi said talking about the potential for revenue streams we have to add value and that is where we will place our emphasis so uh, we kind of saw this with hyundai yesterday talking about how they're going to use software to generate more money with these evs in the future which we're already seeing i've been seeing with tesla We've been seeing with other automakers like BMW, et cetera, for a while now. But I just wanted to update you guys. I'm still in Santa Barbara. I am driving the CRV hybrid today. I can't wait to share those impressions with you. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's content. If you're pumped for the Sony Honda, the Shondi, I like Shondi because it's like the Shouty, the Supra handling all wheel drive on the Acura side. Anyways, if you're excited for it, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe because I will be giving you all the details, the updates along the way. Catch you in the next video. Take care.